Happy Valley preview then for Wednesday night. Nine races on the C Plus 3 course. I'm Andrew Lejeune to help me navigate through the nine race uh, programme. Please say I'm joined by our former analyst in Paul Lally and race caller Mark McNamara as well. And Mark, what are we looking forward to? What are the highlights for Wednesday's programme? Oh, it's an open programme, Andrew. There's a couple of class threes that highlight it. Two class fives as well and a 2200 metre very open race. So no golden 60s lining up on Wednesday night, but still nine winners amongst them. And there's some nice jackpots though, Paul, as well to look forward to. Yeah, $2 million triple trio jackpot and also 2.3 million going to the six up win bonus so some pretty good starting pools there for those particular bets all right well, we start off with a class five contest as mark said two on the program our opening event race set number one is over the 1650 with 12 heading to post headed by smart cousin drops back uh, from the 1800 meters at Chartin last time out at distance he's one over here at happy valley drops in class as well speed to exceed runner up course and distance to matter from heaven last time out diamond star finished fourth in that race a polar warrior fifth at Chartin last time out he comes up in trip We've got Red Majesty run up to split of a second. His best effort, best effort so far, and down to keep winning. It was a two-time winner over the trip, but uh, that trip was on the all-weather. Um, and uh, a couple of seasons ago now as well, Keith Young rides for Michael Chang. Now, as far as the speed is concerned, what are we looking at here, Mark? We've got Shanghai Grace, Andrew, having uh, his first start in Class 5, running to the lead. Red Majesty on the quick backup around Blazing Partners. Lau Enlightenment and Keep Winning there, the two horses three wide. A Polar Warrior, who was much better out of the gates last start. He's midfield. Even Keel led up, uh, turning for home last time over 1,800 metres. He's buried on the rail. Back to Smart Cousin and Diamond Star, who's been running on well. All right, well, we'll have a look at a couple of the key races um, here, Paul, and we'll start off with Speed to Exceed and uh, Diamond Star, both running well at good prices last time. Yeah, they both uh, ran really nicely here, just to, whether they can uh, do it once again. I mean, Speed to Exceed came down into Class 5, so this looks at the right grade for him. And Diamond Star is, is a maiden, but he's only had the eight starts, and he, he's slowly getting there as well. He's just got Barry 11 to contend with. Taking Speed to Exceed out of this race, I think Diamond Star's certainly going to win one in Class 5 when he drops a little more in weight and gets a bit of barrier, but the longer, the better with him. OK, a polar warrior, Paul. I was following him down through as he dropped through Class 4. I think he's he's definitely up to Class 5, I'm sure of it. This is him uh, running fifth uh, last time out to Galaxy Emperor. Yeah, and look, he's got a nice draw, Harry Bentley aboard. Look, he trialled OK at Happy Valley. He did miss the start, but he's been prone to do that. And he did uh, uh, go better from the start in this particular contest. So maybe he's learning in that respect. So, look, he's uh, coming here for the first time under race conditions. So, look, I found a spot for him. I didn't have him in simply because of his starts. He's getting there, as we can see at the finish here. And this race is no stronger than that one. But he's still unreliable at the start. But he's getting better. All right, that was 1,400 up to the 1,650. Might help him somewhat. What about Red Magic? Just D Mark, this was okay. He's on a seven day back up, up uh, an extra 450 metres in weight, and you're right, he runs second here behind Split of a Second, who's uh, on the class drop in this race. Zach sticking on, David Hayes has been having a good few weeks too, Paul. And Thought he could get the night underway with a win with Red Majesty here. Yeah, look, I agree with you. And from a good draw, look, the horse has definitely improved, and as you say, Zach sticking with him. So, yeah, he looks good for me. All right, and here's our current favourite at this stage, as it stands as well, Paul, Red Majesty. Yeah, so he's on top, uh, Red Majesty. I think he can uh, win this particular contest uh, from a polar warrior. Uh, even Keel, now, it was a good fourth from him last time. He's getting there. And Shanghai Grace, the downgrader, look, he's run second off 46. He's down, down to a rating of 37. If he gets to the front, he could be hard to run down. 9, 6, 10, 3. With the nine also, Red Majesty goes on top. Just the backup with him. He's upping distance as well, but uh, tick of approval with Zach staying on board. Blazing Partners goes in for second. He's had two starts at Happy Valley. He's done nothing. They were both in Class 3 in 2018. He's competed much better in Class 5 recently at Sha Tin. Two speed to exceed and 10 even keel. Only run down late after leading up turning for home last time. Nine, 11, 2 and 10. I think Red Majesty probably is the one to beat on that last start effort, but a Polar Warrior will take a chance with him at a flea and each way price as well. Six and nine, nine and six, the cue for me there. In race number one, one of two class fives on the programme.